Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. So, my most popular video is the video that I made the wings in the pressure cooker. So, she and a couple of people asked me to do some more videos in the pressure cooker. So, I shit, I do some pressure cooker videos. I got to get some money to pay for my pills. <laughs> anyway, but for real, for real, um, today I'm going to make a quick little simple, basic ass barbecue chicken thighs. Y'all know my favorite piece of the chicken is the thigh. Give me them thighs, baby. Open the thighs up. <laughs> All right, so when you come down to your pressure cooker, you use whatever seasoning you like. What? Oh, man, when I said that, that made me think of my butt ain't feet. I sure hate when I heard that she died. Y'all know my favorite line. It's your shit. Use how much you want. <laughs> anyway, so I want to start off by putting about two cups of water in the bottom of this. All right, and then I already washed my chicken off. I'm gonna place them in there like that. God damn, this is a big thigh. And look how beat up this thigh is. Did the grocery store whoop these chicken ass and then just throw them in there? And <laughs> beat their ass up? All right. Boom. And these thighs are still kind of froze too. So that's, they, you can let them thaw out or you can cook them froze, but these are still kind of froze. All right. So that's all my thighs. Now when it comes down to seasoning your chicken thighs, or uh, when you cook them in the pressure cooker, you can use, like I said, as much or as little as you want. Now the only time I would suggest putting a lot of seasoning in your pressure cooker if you're gonna eat like a gumbo or a soup. But since it's a chicken and I'm not gonna use this bro, I'm gonna start it with some black pepper. Ooh, onion powder, boom. Garlic powder on your ass. Oh, for the sneeze. All right, y'all know you like my lower sodium seasoning salt. Like I said, you put as much as you want of it. This actually is not, I know they like a lot, but it's really not gonna be salted. And salt, light salt. And I put a little meat tenderizer on it just to give it a, to make it just a little soft. But it's, like I said, this uh, pressure cook gonna fuck it up. <laughs> and then I put a little Worcestershire sauce on, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever the fuck it is, salt juice in here, that little juice. And I put that in there to get that little smoky taste. Like I said, I'm finna, I'm gonna make these some barbecue chicken thigh. All right, so I put my little lid on. Lock it. Make sure it's on a little level. And I'm going to put it on meat. And I'm going to do 33 minutes. Now, the reason I put 33 minutes because they are still a little frozen and they are big. So, in 33 minutes, I'm going to come back and show y'all how these thighs look at. Not my thighs. Now, nah, you ain't seen these thighs because some dick might fall in your face. But <laughs> some of these chicken thighs. All right, y'all. So... Um, 33 minutes later, the chicken is at zero. I let all the pressure out. And so this is what you got. Look at all that juice. <laughs> I might actually say this and season some goddamn collard green with. So anyway, like I said, I'm making barbecue chicken. So I'm gonna take them out of the pressure cooker. And remember these were frozen. They were frozen in the middle and they are fully cooked in 33 minutes. Look at that. So I just get them out of here. Ooh, come here, thigh. Easy. <laughs> you see that juice in there? That juice will make some good ass green for real, but I ain't making no green. Y'all, I cannot cook collard greens. I can cook greens good, shit. Damn, it look good. Now, if I was gonna make some chicken and dumplings, this would've been perfect to make some chicken and dumplings. You see all that bra? But like I said, I'm not gonna use all that. I'm gonna take my cup and I'm gonna get about a cup of broth. And what they're gonna serve is the bottom of my chicken so it won't stick to the pan. And also keep it kind of moist. Let's see. Y'all get it a little bit more. All right, y'all see that? So this is how my chicken look out of the pressure cooker in 33 minutes. And so to that, I'm gonna put my barbecue sauce on it. It's hard to do this shit with one hand. 
I'm putting my barbecue sauce on it. Alright. I'm gonna take my little brush, spread it out. Oh, you hear that juice? <laughs> Y'all, I love me some goddamn barbecue chicken. I'm telling you, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite. Uh, forms of chicken is barbecue baked chicken or like you know pressure cooker chicken i love me some barbecue chicken all right so that's how my chicken look and so i'm gonna put it on broil for about five minutes to let it get some crispiness and caramelization you hear that big word caramelization Ugh. all right so here go my chicken after i let it bur uh, broil for uh eight minutes i did eight minutes and this is my barbecue chicken out of the pressure cooker. Total cook time, 45 minutes, and this shit will froze like your ass. <laughs> now, I didn't have to put any more extra salt, pepper, seasonings, or anything on here because I poured a little of that broth on the bottom in the jail. <laughs> Locked it up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get a little taste to see how it tastes if it's seasoned enough. That shit look good, don't it? Look at that caramelization. Look at that caramelization. That ain't burnt, that caramelization. I'm gonna throw a little bit of damn light bread around that chicken and look, 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 look. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I got me a little piece cut off. Let's see how I tell you. I ain't got no light bread to wrap that shit up in. Well, I got some light bread, but you know. Mmm, it's tender. It's seasoned perfectly, it's not salty, and I wouldn't lie to y'all. Mmm, mmm. So, for the rest of my dinner, I'm making me some rice, broccoli, Light bread, and we gonna call it a motherfucking day. I'll see y'all next time, hood folks, for another cooking video.